Alrighty, so I got the Coleman CC100X mini bike up to around 40 miles per hour with the uh, three horse. But then I went ahead and put the three horse on this micro bike. So now in the quest for more top speed, maybe, I'm gonna go ahead and install this Makuni carburetor on the three horse. So I'm not sure if this will add any top speed or not, but it's a 19 millimeter Makuni style carburetor with the intake manifold and the uh, high flow air filter and the fuel line and the uh, fuel filter. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this and we'll see if that makes any kind of a difference in top speed for that uh, Coleman three horse. And if it doesn't, at least it'll support mods later on if I put a cam and uh, stuff like that in it. So we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing out for a top speed run right now with the stock jetted carb first, and then I'll do a back-to-back -to -back top speed run with the uh, newly installed Makuni carb. We'll see what it does. We'll see if there's any kind of difference at all. Let's see what she does. Speedrun stock carburetor. Let's see what we got. All right, she did a top speed of 40 miles per hour even. 40 miles per hour even. So go ahead and put the Makuni on there and see what it does. Go ahead and unhook this fuel line. Yes, I can take all this throttle linkage off, including all this. I won't be needing it. Is there a filter off this thing? I guess I'm gonna be using a different air filter too. The opening in this one's just way too big. Now, ready to go ahead and pull this carb off. The thing about it, it's easy swap. The hardest thing about this swap will be the um, the uh, throttle cable. All right, there's a carb. Don't need this uh, spacer on here anymore. Go ahead and pull these studs out. I could just put nuts on here and. Uh, bind them together and pull them off, but we'll see if it'll just come off with uh, vice grips. Oh yeah, these things are loose. Alrighty then, so there's that. All right, so this manifold came with the uh, insulator and an O-ring, which is nice. So on my application, I just found out because of this small frame, it'll fit on a Coleman bike, no problem. But on this bike, if I try to mount it directly onto the engine, it hits the frame. So I'm gonna have to use the uh, the uh, stock factory insulator, which is okay. I mean, it's not a big deal. And that way the uh, intake misses the frame right there. Easy enough, I just gotta get longer bolts. So if you look at the insulator and you look at the carb, the venturi on the carb is just a little bit bigger than this insulator. So maybe I'll just drill this out just a little bit just to make it match up to the uh, venturi on the carb. All right, so I'm gonna gasket match it so it at least fits closer to these um, carburetor gaskets because there's definitely a lip on there where the uh, hole's not big enough. And definitely not on the intake. Oh yeah, it's trying to look better. 
All right, so I got this pretty well gasket matched. So it matches up pretty good with that gasket. And on that side, so we should be good to go. Now we'll bolt this beast down and see what it does. All right, go ahead and bolt this manifold on here. All righty. So that clears really good with that uh, spacer on there. Well, we'll see if it runs any better. You never know, it might not. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I never put a Makuni on one of these little engines, so on a three horse. So I'm not sure how good she'll run, but we shall see. So now I'll go ahead and bolt this carb on here. It's cool, it's got O-rings on each one. So no gaskets needed. Put this beast on here. Yeah, this thing would fit perfect on a CC100X. Because the frame's a lot bigger. It'd be a lot easier on there because you wouldn't have to use that uh, spacer. So it'd make it really easy. Sweet, looks like the fuel line will even work. So while I'm down here, I might as well hook that up. All right. All right, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and switch this cable out because the end's a little bit frayed on there. I mean, I could solder an end on it, but I already have another cable anyway. So I'm probably just gonna switch this out for a little bit longer one. So I might as well switch this out for a longer cable. All right, and that. And I think I have one that'll fit in here. Looks like it will. All right, let's see if the new one will fit in here. Yep, perfect. Bolt that beast back up. All right, there's that. She's a lot longer, so now I have more uh, more cable to work with here. All right, there we go. Yeah, so now I have a lot, lot, a lot more cable down here to work with. I could cut off if I need to. All right. All right, I pulled the cable back out, and I'm going to cut this off. I don't know, just giving myself a little bit extra just to make sure. All right, and that. Put this piece through here. I can really kind of see how long I need it. And now all I gotta do is figure out how much cable I need here, cut it off and put a uh, solder on end on it for the slide and we should be good to go. What's cool about it, I can just kind of uh, guesstimate it and then um, I can adjust it up there on the top by the, uh, on the twist grip. All right, so about right there. Cut this beast off and solder an end on it. So let me go ahead and solder an end on this beast and we should be all right. We'll see if that's enough. All right, let's pop this slide on here and see if that is enough. Okay. It looks like we're getting full throttle. All right, I think we're good to go. Let's throw an air filter on this thing and let's see what she will do. Hopefully it'll fire up. So there we go. Looks like we got Makuni install on the Coleman three horse slash microbike. We'll see. Wait, let's see choke. Let's see here. Ooh, sounds good. Promising. Ah, sweet. Good to 
go. Alrighty, got the Makuni carb on there. Let's go do a top speed run and see if it makes any difference. Even if it doesn't, it looks kind of cool. Alrighty, top speed run. Coleman three horse with the Makuni carb. I can tell you right now that thing made a big difference it is a lot faster man let's see what she did yep it did 45 miles per hour that's the fastest this coleman three horse has been so far and, it's, and it felt like it was actually going faster like if i would have had a longer stretch i should try it again The Bakuni Carb on the um, Coleman CC100X 3 horse is a definite mod that you want to do. This thing did 49 miles per hour on the second speed run. It did 45 the first time, and the second time I kept it buried and it did 49 miles per hour. And this thing pulls a lot better with that carb. So this is definitely a mod, a must-have mod for one of these 3 horses. It is a 19mm uh, Bakuni. It's definitely the best mod so far. <laughs> 